uh, data-driven marketing is important right now is because, well, data was available even in the ancient period, I should say, like 20 years ago. However, the speed of the data processing is quite speeding up. So um, in old days, we cannot get any meaningful analysis even we have data. But nowadays, we have meaningful data and meaningful data analysis together because of the speed up. The easiest uh, example is of Amazon. If you go to Amazon and buy something, and Amazon will recommend you something that it is related to you. That means it's only related to you, not for other person. So it's already personalized. Because of the data processing speed is so speeding up, it is possible for now to personalize every analysis to you know, uh, interpret it to the marketing activity, such as recommendation or some offers of the promotions. The thing is, it is very difficult to be a data scientist as well as marketing person. Um, it is almost like engineering. And lots of uh, companies are hiring lots of data scientists as engineers. Think about Google, Apple, Amazon. You can easily imagine that there's a working person is almost all of the person is engineers, right? But the marketing person needs to understand how you can interpret those data or those uh, meaningful analysis into the marketing activities, uh, knowing the insight of each person and uh, consumer behaviors. So that's the role of the marketers right now. Now nowadays, we are sometimes saying that the uh, engineer is engineer and they can process every data. However, unfortunately, marketer cannot understand what kind of data is available so far. And also, a marketer cannot understand what kind of uh, arch algorithm they have to produce those data. If the marketer can understand the background of the data scientist, the marketing activities will be much more fruitful. So that's the reason why we need to understand how the data should be used and how to collaborate with data scientists. The great thing is because um, data can show your insight with data. So what kind of websites do you see? or what kind of activity do you do? Those kind of data is revealing their insight, the personal's insight of the actions, right? Um, even though Japanese looks like, almost all the Japanese looks like the same, what they are thinking is totally different from person by person. So the data-driven marketing is the only tool that can reveal those differentiation um, with the tool. So I think that is a great thing for the data-driven marketing, and because of that, data-driven marketing has a great fit to Japan. Nowadays, we, we know the customer much, much better than we were in, let's say, 20 years ago. Um, 20 years ago, we only know that product was sold by post data. That's it. We don't, we barely know because the registered person is putting, this is, this person looks like 20 years old and a male or such kind of things. So barely we have those kind of post data to analyze who is buying our product. However, nowadays we can know if that person is purchasing something on website or e-commerce, we know who is that person, where that, where that person is living, when they born, and what agenda they have, and what kind of web activity they are doing, and what other product that that person bought before. That means we haven't known one person who is a purchase, who is a who is our customer. However, nowadays we know exactly the person who buy our product. So that's totally changed the uh, architect of the marketing promotions. We were targeting only a segment that we imagine, but now we are targeting the marketing activities for the segment that we know who they are. That's a big change. Uh, the thing is, um, beforehand, because of the, there is a many limitation of the media as well, we only have four math medias, and those are, and also, let's say, the maybe a little bit virals, but those are the really limited uh, areas that we can communicate towards to the consumers. However, now we have a earned media, owned media, and mass medias, 
that, that is purchased medias. And in purchased medias, we have digital media as well and mass medias too, right? So there are some many, many medias that we can communicate about our product to the consumers. So we can differ the story of each product, that's the story of the product can be differed towards to each target. But beforehand, we can only have one story because the channel is so limited. We only can have one story. However, nowadays we have many, many channels towards the many, many specified consumers. They are segmented and we, as a kind of producer of the product, know who they are. Then the story that we will tell will be differed by each scenes. That's pretty understandable, right? If you are a male, we, I would like to talk about something for a male. But if you are female, I would like to talk some story about the female. The fundamental of the story, or a fundamental of the, I should say, brand core, will not be changed. However, the outcome of the communication or a story of the brand should be differed. The dimension that they will see is differed by the person. And we can control that by a big data-driven marketing. Learn database first. Learn that to be an engineer, or at least to understand uh, how we can get the data first, the data structure. And then you, that person needs to understand what the marketing is. So those two things they need to understand. Now, beforehand, it is okay just to, like I am, just start as a marketer and just start a little bit surface of the marketing research. And if you know about the brand um, theory, or, and you can do the marketing management, but nowadays it's impossible. You have to understand what the digital uh, engineering is, at least the fundamental of those things, and what kind of data you can store from the consumers, and what kind of database that which will be introduced, and how we can customize it. So those information, if you don't have, you cannot develop a good marketing plan at all. So those people need to understand what is the database of the consumer first, I think.